plays a vital role in our overall health, but one in 10 Americans has some form of liver disease. Dr. Michael Charlton, director of Intermountain Medical Center's liver transplantation program, is here today to talk about liver disease and keeping our livers healthy. Dr. Charlton, thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, when we talk about the liver, I mean, yeah. it doesn't get the spotlight like the heart or the lungs. How important is the liver, though? Well, it's, it's our blue collar hero, hero. It sort of sits just under the ribs on the right side. It's the largest organ other than maybe the skin. And it handles our food. Its primary role is in helping us to digest and process our food. When it's working well, you won't know it's there. Yeah, so that's why we kind of forget about it, yeah. because you don't even notice it. Right. But when it's not working well, what are some of the things we start to notice? You know, for a lot of people with liver disease, there are no symptoms. By the time you get some of the things we read about in textbooks, so getting yellow eyes, yellow skin, we call jaundice, mm -hmm. that's a sign. Sometimes right upper quadrant pain can be a sign. Then there are some obvious things like vomiting of blood or the belly swelling up with fluid. Those are really late stage things. Most people don't have symptoms. So if you don't have symptoms, and by the time you notice anything, it's a little yeah. too late, how can we prevent having liver disease? Well, that's a great question. The most common liver disease in the United States by far is too much fat in the liver. There's about 100 million Americans with fat in the liver, and it's now the second most common reason to need a liver transplant is too much fat uh, in the liver. So if you, if you weigh too much, uh, you mm -hmm. want to go see your doctor, maybe ask them about, am I at risk for fatty liver disease? Yeah. If you have complications of too much weight, like diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol levels, you should probably be screened for fatty liver disease. And we I always hear doctors say, eat right, exercise, yeah. be healthy. This is another reason why, because you can get fat right. in your liver and that will stop it from working properly and helping your whole body out. It's absolutely true. So too much fat can lead to inflammation and scarring of the liver, which over decades can lead to liver failure wow. and liver cancer. And by the time you have those things, it's hard to reverse. Yes. We're it working on some exciting treatments for that, but there's nothing you could prescribe right now. The best prescription is taking care of yourself before yep. you get to that point. What right. about hepatitis C? We know that that one's linked to liver disease, maybe alcoholism. Are those still big factors? Those are still a big deal. Hep C is still the most common reason to have uh, liver cancer and to need a liver transplant in, in the U.S. right now. But now we have these fantastic treatments. So if you get diagnosed, we can cure almost everyone, wow. over 95% of people right now with simple, easy-to-take therapy. So the okay. real challenge now are things like fatty liver disease. Yeah, things that you can control that will go on for a long time and show up problems later. Exactly right. Yeah. So what kind of questions should we be asking our doctor if we have concerns about our liver or just yeah. want to make sure we're on the right track? You just uh, If you're going for your annual visit and maybe you weigh more than is uh, average or, mm -hmm. is, or is healthy, so a body mass index above 25, for example, just ask your doctor, do you think my liver is okay? Is it healthy? They may or may not have done some liver blood tests that might trigger them to, to do it. Is there a particular age, like once we turn over 40 or over 60, where we should really keep a close eye? I've seen people in their teens wow. with advanced liver disease due to too much fat in the liver, but yeah. I'm not saying that teens should be screened, but right. I think it should be something to consider. Anyone who has more than a healthy amount of weight, mm -hmm. the liver is part of us, an important part of us, and you want your doctor to be thinking about your liver as well as those other things like cholesterol and heart disease. All of those annual checkups are yes. incredibly important, Dr. Charlton. Thanks yeah. for joining us. And a cool fact about the liver, it can regenerate unlike any other organ, right? Yeah, it like, can. You can cut the tip of your finger off, never grow back. Yeah. You can take two-thirds of the liver to donate to someone, mm -hmm. and it'll grow back within a month to almost completely normal size. It's that is thing. pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool liver. Right. You can find out all information on our website at goodforyoutop.com. And so come on ABC4.